Hey you guys, Dr. Sloan with The Gymnast Fix, and today we're going to see how responsive your feet are. In other words, do you have happy feet? So our feet should be really responsive, meaning that we should be able to communicate to our toes and our feet just the same as we communicate with our hands. So we're going to start with something called toe yoga. So we're going to ask our toes to move independently of one another. So the first thing I'm going to ask my foot to do is I'm going to ask my big toe to move. So my big toe is going to come up and go down. Come up and go down. Now, you guys are all sitting at your desks or looking at your phones right now asking your big toes to move and I bet you they're not moving. I've had to really practice this. So the more we shove our feet into shoes, the more we disconnect with our feet. Now as gymnasts, we're going to be much better at this than say a soccer player or a football player, but still nonetheless things we should work on. Because think, what do we do on the balance beam? Ooh, we use those feet like extra fingers to grab a hold of that beam, right? We use our feet to rebound through them on the floor and to run across the vault runway. So again, you're gonna ask your big toe to move and no sweat if this is much harder for you than it is for me. Because the more you practice this, the better you get at it. All right, so you're gonna have your big toe move. Then I want your outside four toes to move. So keeping your big toe on the ground, you'll lift up those four toes. Back down. Lift up those four toes, good. Now I want you to spread them apart as far as you can. Really spread them. I think of like a monkey. I'm trying to use my toes, spread them apart. Good, now this is the hardest one. You're gonna take your big toe and I want you to bring it away from your foot without moving your foot. So I'm gonna bring that big toe out and back in. Big toe out and back in. A common mistake I see with this is people let their knee come in as their big toe goes in. And that's cheating. So we wanna keep the knee still, bring that big toe, and back in. So that's called toe yoga. Now another thing that you can do to your feet to help neurologically stimulate them and wake them up, make them be a little bit more responsive, is by using different myofascial release tools. So you can use lacrosse balls, but this is made by a company called Rad. It's a bit smaller. It's the same density as a lacrosse ball, but for gymnasts that probably don't have size 10 feet, this is a good option. So I take that and you just gently roll it through I want you to find every joint in your foot. You have so many joints down there, I want you to identify every single one, rolling it through. This shouldn't be painful. It might be a little discomfort, but it definitely shouldn't bring tears to your eyes. Then you're gonna hook your heel, and I want you to wave hello, goodbye. This is rolling over what's called your metatarsals. Perfect, so you'll just spend about 20, 30 seconds on each foot. Then you're gonna move on to one of these. These are spiky balls. This is made by a company called Rock. I'm not sure of this brand, but we have a few more of these. And we're gonna roll through this. Now the spikes on this gives us what's called distal afferentation. More distal afferentation we receive, the better our balance, the better our joints function, the less pain we perceive, and the more explosive our feet can be, and the more stable our feet can be. So those are some very simple ways that you can increase your body's perception, reliability, and reaction at the foot level. If you have any more interest in this, catch us at gymnastfix.com. We'll see you there.